Kite Sail High, a book about verbs, written and illustrated by Ruth Heller. A verb is really the most superb of any word you've ever heard. Verbs tell you something's being done. Roses bloom and people run. Pelicans fly. Kites sail high. And rabbits quickly multiply. A vigorous verb is super superb. It tells you fireworks explode. Or horses thunder down the road. Of equal attraction are verbs of less action. Have is a verb. These kings have gold. And so is has. She has a cold. Here are verbs we use to link. I am a cat. My nose is pink. My fur feels soft. I sound content. My lifestyle looks most opulent. Is, am, and are, and was, and were, and being, been, and be, are linking verbs, and as you see, show no activity. Nor do these other verbs that link, feel, or sound, or look, more of them are listed as you open up this book. Is, am, and are, and was, and were, and being, been, and be, are here again. This time you'll see... They're called auxiliary, along with do and does and did and has and have and had and shall and will and also should and might and may and can and would. They're helping verbs and they are able to form verb phrases as in this fable. While the hare who should have won was napping in the noonday sun, the tortoise with a steady pace was inching by and won the race. Only a verb can change its tenses, and here are some of the consequences. Irregular verbs leave you aghast by the way they change from present to past. I bite, I bit, or I have bitten. I sink, I sank, or I have sunk. I shrink, I shrank, or I have shrunk. These are just a very few from a list of more than 52. Most regular verbs change easily by adding on an E and D. I paint, I painted, or I have painted. There are three moods to be expressed, and of course it's the verb that does this the best. The imperative mood makes a request. Please take just one and leave the rest. Or it gives a command. March! This is a whole sentence in one single word, and of course, this can only be done by a verb. The indicative mood just states a fact. We act. The subjunctive mood expresses a wish, or uses the words as though or if. If I were a fish, as though that could be, I'd swim in a beautiful tropical sea. Verbs have two voices, passive and active. Choose the one you find more attractive. This egg was laid by a hen named Sadie. A hen named Sadie laid this egg. Each sentence requires one verb or more. She sells seashells at the seashore. And here is a sentence with verbs galore. Lizards leap and pile in a heap and slither and climb and splash and creep and swim and cavort and fall asleep. Now, as an important afterthought about words that are verbs and words that are not, is is a verb. Not is not. Put them together, you have is not. Then with a quick, converging action, is not becomes isn't. That's called a contraction. Is not becomes isn't. Use every restraint. 
And never, no never, please never say ain't. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid-friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.